If you're staying here, you feel like you've made it. Um, Have you stayed here? I've never stayed here. Every morning, we don't talk about our guests, and that's one of the reasons that people do feel so comfortable to stay here. To come here because it's discreet. This room, it's probably had some very elegant evenings, and it's probably had some pretty dastardly things go on. Whatever happens here stays here. When you check into the Carlisle Hotel on Madison Avenue, it's magical. I feel like you're stepping back in time, and with this place, they give you that. I was going out with Jack Nicholson in the 70s, and I think it must have been where he's always stayed. There's really nothing more emblematic of elegance, history, romance, and scandal than the Carlisle. But the Carlisle Hotel, no stranger to receiving royalty. This hotel is so much bigger than all of us. It's like a family here. There's really no place like home, but I think the Carlisle's pretty close. Uh, good to see you. It's nice great, to be back. Great. How much longer can this exist? It's completely awesome and, frankly, nuts. The most famous elevator ride in history took place in the Carlisle. Princess Diana, Michael Jackson, and Steve Jobs all at the same time. Now, that is a power elevator. Paul Newman would want a salad. He would say, I'm going to make my own dressing. It was created right here at the Carlisle. There's photos of Kennedy coming and going. I heard Marilyn Monroe used to come in through a tunnel here. I'm still looking for the tunnel, and I can't find it. <laughs> I remember going to visit Hunter Thompson. He had a bottle of scotch, a bowl of cereal, and a bowl of cocaine. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. It's fabulous. It's magical. The party's always at the car line. Always.